How's it going, everyone? Um, just realized my hair is really fucking long. If you go back and look at my original videos, my hair was really short, like super short. So this is fucking crazy. It's crazy to think that I've had this account that long, and that I've been making videos that long. It just doesn't feel like it's been that long. Feels like I just made this, like, last year or something. But, anyways, I wanted to make a video kind of giving an update on a couple things that I've gotten recently through the mail from a, diff a few different companies and the fact that I fixed the strat. I never made an update about this for some reason, you know, it's one of those things I've just kind of been busy and not really thinking about it. Um, but, uh, but it's sounding great, although in true Wyatt fashion, I'm never exactly completely satisfied with everything so the one gripe I'm having is I'm wondering because I'm not too stoked on this JB I, I've never really been too stoked on the JB pickup just because the mids are so pronounced and I'm I mean I know a lot of other people like mid, a lot of mids but I'm not a, I'm not huge on mids you know I like mids but I don't like it stingy and fucking really, you know, I don't like it really high-endy and kind of crisp like that. I like there to be a little bit more growl and some oomph in the pickup. So, you know, I'm, I'm an EMG player, come on. So I'm used to that kind of sound and I don't want to put EMGs or anything in this, don't get me wrong. But what I'm thinking, I'm wondering if maybe like, I want to kind of venture offwards and maybe check out like a DiMarzio Super Distortion because I love the way they look for one like that I think that would be a cool addition to the way this looks because I love the way the bobbins they're those little hex bobbins or whatever and they they're black with the pickup obviously I I, I don't know if I would get maybe I would get one that was had the white plastic with the black bobbins maybe that would look cool on this or I kind of like the way this kind of looks hot rotted like this with a different color pickup than the other ones. I like that kind of look. It's just kind of, it looks like 80, 80s hot rotted fucking guitar. You know what I mean? Like that was a big thing in the 80s was really like getting a guitar and just hot rotting it out. Getting it badass. So um, that's one of the things. And it also, if you can't tell, um, the the strings aren't exactly lined up with the pickup either with the bobbins because the spacing is a little bit wider so maybe i'd have to get like an f spaced pickup or something like that you know wider spaced i think in seymour duncan they call them trem buckers something like that. i don't know i'd have to look it up but i know demarzio has f spaced and regular or whatever but uh yeah that's one of the things with this thing i mean it's, it's a great pickup, don't get me wrong, and it'll do for, you know, the time being, but I just, I think with these other, these other two, which is, a uh, two, um, custom shop Texas special single coils, true single coils, um, reverse wound, reverse polarity, so when I'm in, when I'm in the in-between position, it's hum canceling. <laughs> I, I just love the way this thing sounds. It's got... I love it. I, I mean, I, these single coils, it just so badass i'm so thankful to my fan that uh that hooked me up with these absolute badass like i it just it couldn't have come at a more perfect time because it just it kind of rounded out this whole guitar you know it's got the uh tusk nut up here and this whole neck is just the shit 
I finally kind of figured out how to make these so they don't suck. These Planet Waves auto trim. That part of it, the way, the fact that it's auto trim is fucking amazing. I think they're absolutely awesome for that because you don't have to cut the wires and shit. Makes it way quicker to change strings. But if you can see, the strings wind, have to wind upwards because of it. You can't really wind it downwards, which is odd to me because when you winding it downwards puts more of an angle on this, which creates more tension throughout the string. And it puts more pressure onto the nut, which gives it a little bit more s stability, especially when you have, if you have one of these tusk nuts because they're so lubricated, it doesn't, you don't really need a roller nut or anything like that. They're, they're pretty good, I gotta say. And, you know, also with these graphite saddles, it's just, <sighs> this guitar is awesome. I love it. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. No volume knob right here. It's right here instead. I mean, I hate the volume knob right here, but I got the Jack Daniels sticker. Anyways, so. This thing is done. It's, it's all set up. It's bitching. It's working fine. There's no more wall, 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 wall going on there. So I'm all good now. Really happy about that. Other, anyways, what I've gotten recently in the mail from a couple different companies have sent me some things uh, to check out and I think they're badass and I think there's something that everyone should check out. Um, they're just, this one is a really simple, simple thing, really cheap. It's really not much of a hassle to use or put on or anything. Um, it's called Pick Grips. And here's the, the uh, logo, Pick Grips. And it's just this kind of foam sort of little cutout here that has these slits and it has adhesive except for like right where these picks come in like this, you see? So it has these little sections where it doesn't have stickiness. So there's not they're not getting any adhesive on them or anything. But this will stay on the guitar. They say to that, you know, they're ideally put on flat surfaces and stuff. That you shouldn't really put them on curved surfaces. Bullshit. These are great. <laughs> like, they're just fine on curved surfaces. Like, I put them right here on the bottom of the guitar. And I've got them on almost all my guitars right now. They sent me... They sent me, you know, a ton of these, a bunch of different colors of them too. They gave me like white, black, red, green, brown, all sorts of different colors. And they also gave me these ones, which are their singles. And I think these are, you know, a little better than, you know, say like one of those Dunlop plastic pick holders that people like to put on their guitars. I have one on my acoustic. Um... I like this better because for one, when you put grips on picks like I do, like you see how I have the scoring on my pick like this, it makes it awkward to put it in those those holders because then they're they kind of stick to each other and they don't really fit in it right and it's just weird. So it kind of renders them pointless. These guys work perfect for it because the way you put them in, you put it in with the tip like that. And, you know, the, the rest of the grip is kind of outwards. So when you're playing and stuff and you drop a pick, you know, say I'm playing like this and I drop one and I can just grab it from right here. At, like it's right in the motion and it's right set up. Basically, I have them where the top is faced towards me. So when I grab it, it's already right in position to start playing again, which I think is the shit. And, uh. The singles are like that too. I put this on here just to kind of show you guys what it what it's all about. It's just one single like that, and you can while you're playing, you know, you drop a pick and bam, you got it right there. Like it's just simple. Um, with strats, I know a lot of people like to do this deal, but even that's a little weird because you got to kind of come out of the and get into the position. I mean, that's fine, but you can only hold you know, maybe two in there until you start fucking with the, the way the pit guard sits on the guitar. But 
These are non-intrusive. They don't leave a bunch of adhesive on your guitar. They don't screw up your, your finish or anything. They are just awesome. I think they're the perfect idea. They're pretty much throwaways. They're super, super cheap. They're supposed to be a one-time use thing, but fuck that. Like, I, you could use these for a long time, honestly. I think they... <laughs> <laughs> nothing against the company or anything because I said like I'm saying they're I think they're great but I think they I they want you to kind of throw them out every once in a while so that you can buy more <laughs> but I think they'll last pretty long like yeah they are just foam and stuff so that they're, they're not gonna last forever that's the thing that's the cool thing about them is they're super cheap so you can get a bunch of them and just kind of have them stocked up and stuff and use them when, whenever you need them but that's one thing I think everyone should check out Pit Grips. You can go to pitgrips.com and uh, check out all their stuff. I think it's awesome. They were kind enough to send me this stuff just to test out and see what I thought. So, telling them what I think. I think it's awesome. And uh, I'd recommend it to anyone, honestly. I really have no problem with this stuff. There's usually things with most products that it's like, mm. But uh, the next product that I wanted to show you guys. I was gonna do two separate videos, but I figured, nah, screw it. I'll just kind of throw everything in one video to kind of show you guys. So, the next guy that sent me some stuff to check out, which is awesome stuff, this stuff is really cool. It's, uh, they're called Howling Monkey. Howling Monkey Picks. And uh, he hand makes these picks they're really, really, really nice. They're made out of a material called Tagua. Tagua. It's T-A-G-U-A. And it's this, it's this nut that comes from this tree. And um, in the nut itself, when, it's, when it has just fallen off the tree, it's kind of this gelatinous, clear kind of gel sort of goop that's inside this nut. <laughs> And uh, what, they let it harden for like four months or something like that. And uh, after it after it it hardens and cures itself, it becomes like ivory. Basically, it's super super hard. It's really really tough. Um, it sounds fucking awesome. Nice and bright, crisp. You know, full sounding. But um. It's really cool looking material. I mean, you're not gonna really be able to tell that well from this video just because of the way the lighting is, but he's got Howling Monkey on the front kind of imprinted a little bit on here. And he's got, this is what he offers for grip. He calls this the pistol grip. And um, it's a, it's actually a pretty sweet grip if you you get into it. It's kind of, it's really rough and it kind of sticks to your thumb. I like dry grips. I don't like having to lick my fingers every five seconds to have to play. And this is one thing I was talking about to him. You know, he's got this pistol grip, but it's on these pistol grip picks. It's only on the one side. See, this is one of his sort of jazz. Um, here's a Here's a smaller, regular, you know, Jazz 3 type sharp tip with uh, no pistol grip. Just kind of has, it has these two little lines right here, but they're not, you know, it doesn't, it's not really much. But this, the the, the top of this one is actually kind of cool because the, the, the material, the way the material works, it's kind of like, you know, how Tortex works, where if you lick your fingers, get them a little bit wet, it kind of grips to your fingers, and it will work like that. You know, I, you can use them like that. I know a lot of people are kind of used to that. I, that's how I used to play with picks all the time. Never really had a problem. All of a sudden, you know, like when I started changing over to heavier picks, all of a sudden that just wasn't working anymore. I needed more grip. That's why I started doing the scoring picks and things like that. But yeah, I, I'm just talking to him about, you know, maybe getting the way this pistol grip is like this, increasing the size of this, this pistol grip by about 
10% so that the outer edges right here come out to about the edge of the bevel. So technically it will encompass more of the pick and it'll come down a little bit further, which is, which is a big deal for me because a lot of picks, that's the problem I have with them is the grip doesn't go down far enough. See like this, how the grip stops about halfway through the pick and I hold the pick to where there's barely anything hanging out. I'm holding it like this and the pivot point is right on the tip of my finger right here and right in the middle of my thumb. So it's like, well, if I, if there's no grip down there, it's kind of fucking pointless, you know, to have a grip on the pick at all. I don't hold the pick way back here like some people because I'm not just sitting there strumming, you know. You hold a pick like that when you're just sitting there. But I'm never really playing like that. I'm usually, you know, intricate picking and, you know, like having to... And you can't really hold the pick way back like that. So talking to him about how to, like, maybe if I could um, have like a custom one made or something, trying to figure out, he was talking about, he he was he thought of that too, trying to think about how he could get the, uh, because right here it says Howling Monkey, right there, and sort of how, and like I said, if you increase the size, there'd be a little bit more room to fit that logo. I'm thinking maybe just the logo sort of pressed in with the grip, you know what I mean? Like, just kind of put into inside the grip, kind of smaller. Which I think that would work fine. I don't, I don't think it would really take much away from the grip of the pick. Um, only put it on one side, you know, so... Because the back side of the pick doesn't need to have quite as much grip as the top. You need the top to have a little bit more grip because it digs into the kind of the meat of your thumb. And um, I think his, I, I think the picks would pretty much be the most perfect picks out there if, if he could figure some way to do that. Um, but these picks are absolutely awesome. This material is just insanely awesome. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's really good looking. And um, he dyes them these, these different colors. He's, he's got a couple different colors. He gave me just blue and red. But um, he does different colors and things. And you can get, you can have him make custom picks and stuff. You can request him to make custom picks, but it's pretty much out of this material. And this material is just awesome. Like it really is. It's, it's comparable to like a coconut shell and um, ivory and things like that. Really hard, sort of crisp, but not like slick. You know what I mean? Like bone picks. A lot of bone picks are really like the 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 outside of them is a little too shiny and slick, slippery. These ones are more kind of matted and. They're, they're good to lick your fingers and get the grip like you would on a normal pick. So I think these are really badass. I'd recommend them to everyone. And everyone can check them out. Um, Howling, Howling Monkey, HowlingMonkeyPicks.com um, I think that was the, the website. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yep. HowlingMonkeyPicks.com, exactly. And like I said, it comes with this this little holder bag for the picks, which I think is awesome. Um, he gave me a set of five different ones. I don't want him to get mad, but I kind of made some of a grip on this one because I like this one a lot and I want to play with it. And this was one of the ones that didn't have any grip on it. So I've, I've used kind of a, um, fuck, whatever you call those little deals. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't believe I forget the names of these things. I just brain fart and it goes away from my head. But I used a little deal to kind of cut a little bit of a grip into it. And it's just awesome now. It's like one of my favorite picks. These types of picks, I know I'm sort of 
showing you guys on acoustic guitar, I mean uh, electric guitar, but they, they, they really shine with acoustic guitar. And I still have left to do my, this video, which is basically my high-end special picks for acoustic guitar, which are like the fucking, the holy grail of guitar picks, you know, the ones that everyone seeks and everyone really wants and sound the best especially with acoustic they're just fuck oh, they're just gorgeous and these ones will be in that list because these these are in that same category they're the shit they're really high end nice picks and these ones don't cost even near as much as some of the some of the other guys that make these kind of custom nice high end picks like this you know some some guys are just out fucking rageous like blue chip and Red Bear. I got a Red Bear pick, luckily, for like, I think I spent like 30 bucks, 36 bucks or something, for one fucking pick. And these picks sell brand new for like 50 bucks. But, um, I, I, I just, it's crazy, I know. I know a lot of people are like, what the fuck? But you get into these really high-end picks like this, and they last so much longer. And you really don't understand how much better they sound. You really, you get on an acoustic and you you hear the way it rings out and the 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 way it brings out the depth in the guitar and the kind of nuance in the way it rakes against the strings and kind of has this nice little jangle to it makes it nice and bright. It's just fucking gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing for recording too. This is where I think picks like this really shine is in the recording studio, especially recording acoustics and stuff where you really can get that 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 pick sound, the way it rakes against the strings and stuff. It's just fucking gorgeous. But I would recommend these picks to anyone, and I think everyone should go check them out. And check out the Pick Grips guys, because both of these guys make awesome products, and they're really, really cool guys. They are awesome people. They were kind enough to send me this stuff, you know, to sort of test out and show you guys what you guys would think, but, you know, um, tell me if you want to get a hold of any of these guys or want to ask me any questions about these deals, and I'll tell you anything I know. Um, other than that, you can go to www.howlingmonkeypicks.com. Uh, uh, pit Grips, I think it's just pitgrips.com. It's something simple, you know, but... Other than that, I'll just show you a little...
Word. If anyone could tell me the song I was playing. <laughs> I'm sure you guys all know what it is, but if you can call it out, tell me in the comment section. Give it a like and share, all that kind of good shit. So this kind of stuff can get around to other guitar players because everyone needs to check out this stuff. Especially like this, these kind of odds and ends like this, this pick grip sort of deal. Simple things like people put duct tape on the headstock. That's what I was doing for a long time was putting duct tape on the headstock. And it just, it leaves a bunch of residue and shit and it's just nasty and it gets on the picks and... It's just way cooler to have something like this that looks nice. You can just put it on the guitar and works a lot better to where you can, it's not stuck to anything. You can sit there and play and you drop a pick and bam, you just got it immediately. So go and check it out for yourself. Get some yourself. Super cheap. Um, the pick grip stuff is super cheap. And you guys can go and check out these on Howlin' Monkey's pick howlandmonkeypicks.com and you can check out the prices and stuff there like i said they're really really cheap for high-end picks i i'm honestly you know shocked at how cheap they are for how nice they are they're really really nice so pieces <laughs>